The assistant helping me during a procedure could never hold something with no motion for 10, 20 minutes. It's physically impossible. What it does is let us control things more easily in terms of areas where we have a very confined space to work in. The urologist, for example, can do prostate operations, working in small spaces, doing things that can't be done with hands. We're able to work in tight spots that would let us do something like a hysterectomy that would otherwise require a large open incision. It's easier to control bleeding. There tends to be less post-op pain. So the hysterectomies actually are scheduled now as outpatient procedures. The robot captures what the surgeon's hands are doing to the instruments. So it lets us work around corners with instruments that have very short points, the scissors tip or a needle holder is a half inch long, and that lets us work in very confined spaces and at odd angles in the way conventional laparoscopy can't. The robot does nothing on its own. It's copying what the surgeon's hands are doing over to the instruments. And the robot can hold something completely motionless, absolutely with no movement at all, much longer than an assistant could. We have many patients that come back and are surprised at how little pain there was in the post-operative period when they compare notes to people that have had the surgery done some other way.